What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Brendan and I'm Bman X 45 and today I have another deck profile for you for the Digimon TCG. Uh, this will be my green deck for the current BT5 format which is now extended as we know due to the delay of BT6. Um, so this is one of the decks I built that I wasn't really sure if I wanted to build a green deck. Uh, it had a lot of cool things. I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to build. There was a lot of different control variants and I had the Hercules Kabuteri Mon starter deck, which uh, seemed like a cool build to go. But I decided to go a different way, which is more the OTK, OTK way um, for green uh, and with a bit of control uh, mixed in. So it's a bit of a green OTK mild control deck uh, and so let's get into it and it's, it's been one of the best decks i had testing really well it's completed uh luckily uh and uh well it's pretty much completed I, i'd say unless i have to make some changes um but we'll get into that as we go along um so we'll start off with as always with our babies one bodmon for yokomon i know i i said in another video that i really like the three to ratio but that's when your abilities are consistent of draw and power up i like that that you know having you know a little bit more draw a little less power up but not going you know all one way and all the other way with this one um your yokomon gets you the power up your budmon is basically the same thing it just doesn't get you as much uh she has to be digibursted for a plus 2000 he just gets you a plus 1000 if you have the digiburst digiburst keyword on it so uh, she's definitely better, but Bodmon gives you a little bit there. And I got a cool pre-release version of them too. So yeah, so that's your babies. Uh, next we have our level three, our rookies. Four, Vanilla Goblin Mon. Not much to say there. Cheap, two cost to play off field. Uh, two, Lalamon. She's got the ability to digiburst her. Uh, and then add it back to your hand. So you always have a level three to continue those uh, starter plays in your raising area uh, or on the field, really. Um, I think you only need two because you don't want to see, you just want to see one of her. So two gives you the ability to see, you know, to see her potentially early game, but you don't want to clog your hands with this because after you use the first one, highly unlikely that you're ever going to have to use another one. So two, I find is a great number for, for Lalamon. Um, we got some two of, we got two terrier mon uh, for memory blocking uh, your opponent. Um, two terrier mon assistant because uh, for searching because he's got a great, uh, um, you know, all, all your cards in your deck except for one, well two actually, but one one card, two copies are, are green, so you only have to worry about you know uh, those two cards coming up. So you did you burst your baby? Uh, in order to search your deck. So if you're he's really good if you're having a slow start. Um, and then to Palmon, and that's because we're running three of the promo Palmon. You can see there. So promo Palmon, uh, really great, really busted card, really expensive. Uh, when this card's trashed due to activating a Digiburst, uh, one of your Digimon gains jamming uh, for the rest of the turn. So you don't have to worry about your security Digimon because now your Digimon are terribly big. Um, they do have ways to make them big. But just having that ability to uh, can be deleted in battles against security Digimon, that's really great. So if you come up against an Omnimon, you're not like, oh my gosh, no, it goes with my monster and my play. So that's really great. And then the Palmon helps you reuse it because if you you can if this is deleted uh, and say you need to make an attack and you need to keep your monster on the board and you have her on the field, you can attack into something you know you're going to die from. Stick a Palmon back on your like level six. Uh, then digiburst it and and attack over security so that's really great so it's a i find a two three ratio is really good i don't want to max out on the promo palamons i know it's a lot of people do i just feel like it might be cloggy um and i don't want to have to run more of this um so i'm just going with that and that's my rookies uh it's 15 so big big number of rookies in this deck And then we go on to our champions here. Uh, start off with two Roachmon and two Vegemon. I could be playing four Vegemon. Uh, probably would be better, but I wanted to try out the Roachmon just for the convenience of that three to play level four. They're both one to evolves, and that's kind of where they're at. But if, uh, if I find that I don't need the Roachmon, I would probably just change back to four Vegemon. But I just wanted to test that. 
uh, just like Tobimon and Blue, I felt like it was worth a test, uh, even though these guys can get nidhogged or, or, or just deleted off of certain effects. So it's a risk, but it, and worth testing out. Um, and then you got the Weedmon from BT5. He's amazing. Uh, gained a memory off Digiburst, so it makes Digiburst even better. One to Digivolve, really great. And then three Kabuterimon blockers. And I'm only playing three because I run a cherry, two Cherrymon, which are also blockers. So I feel like I didn't need more than four or five blockers. So I thought uh, it, it cut one of him allows me to get other cards in other places. So for that's it. That's uh, 11 for level fours. Uh, and then you have your level fives. Of course, the one Agumon. Uh, hopefully, this card eventually comes back from one, but right now it's limited. Two Cherrymon blockers. Um, I yeah, I probably just cut him and play more Agumon. Honestly, if that was the if that was the case. Um, but he's a nice two two to evolve. Uh, Seven thousand blockers. So that's really great. Um, so he's I don't even say he's like your vanilla because he's he's got a vanilla cost, but he's really good. Then I have three Blossomon, Digisorption three. So suspend uh, another Digimon or the Digimon you're Digivolving onto to make the cost zero. So free free to evolve, really great. Um, and then, of course, three Lilamon. And I got the Alti there. That was really a really cool pull right there. Three Lilamon. Um, got the really good Digiburst two to suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, able, making you able to attack over things, especially since... If you have a Yokomon on her, you make her 9,000. So big enough to get over a lot of level 4s or 5s. So that's really good. Um, and then Inheritable, if you have a Tamer in play uh, when attacking, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. So that's really good as well. Um, so way to start your plays uh, before you get into your Megas. Um, so it's 9. I wanted to run at least 9 with the amount of uh, Megas that I'm running. So you got your level sixes, so level sixes, two naked hogmon, that's your kind of your control, your board wipe, um, as well as two reflagemon. Um, that is another part of your control because you have the ability to uh, digiburst and get and power up your things uh, and then stop your opponent from being able to attack or block with their monsters. So that's kind of the control aspect of the game uh, of the deck. Those two right there, uh, and she's got the really great ability that after you've used like a bunch of stuff, um, like your other abilities, you can put like like you can go into to her from Nidhog for one, uh, which is really cool, and uh, and then use her ability again because it's Digiburst two, so it just depends. Like say you were able to get you only have a Nidhog and you don't have the four or something like that, your opponent trashes one of your Digivolutions uh, and stuff like that, it just makes it so you can. You know, you don't have a dead Digimon there that can't Digiburst, then you can go into Reflagemon. Um, and then, of course, I got three Grand Kawagamons uh, for the uh, OTK variant. So basically what he does is he Digiburst two. He can do himself or other Digimon and give them Security Attack plus one. So you can potentially turn him into a Security Attack plus three Digimon uh, in one turn with jamming if you have the Palmon uh, bursted. And you can blast through three, three security, um, you know, right away. Um, so really, really great, really cool ability. So you can, you can get, you, you know, with the certain stuff, you can just get through everything in a turn. And then you can go into a Chaos Gallimon, uh, or sorry, not Chaos Gallimon, Chaos Mon, and then attack again. So that's uh, the level sevens there. You have the two Chaos Mon. Um, and then so you basically go into Chaos Mon and when Digivolving attack their Digimon, it, uh, clear their, like, so basically you just go straight for the security with him and then Digivolve into your opponent's turn basically, but then you can still attack with his when Digivolving ability, attack even one of their um, suspended Digimon, clear their board, pierce one, get another card off the back, and then they got to deal with this 14,000 beater on the field. If they leave any of their Digimon uh, suspended, it can pierce their other security. So it's really, really fast, really great. Um, so yeah, that and really consistent too with just the whole aspect of being able to control and just attack through really fast. So. And then finally, we have our tamers, our two Mimi and one 
Izzy Izumi, um, so Memory Tamer. I'm, I wasn't seeing this a lot, and maybe that's because I should be running three. I wanted to test the dual tamer so that I had that, you know, you get your three and then potentially get your, you know, five per turn if you have both. I like that whole thing when you can have a nice mix and you can have memory tamers and uh, and the uh, dual tamer to kind of give you like that opening five every turn in the right circumstances. So I might need, and that's where I only have the two, so I would need technically to pick up another Mimi if I was finding that I was short, but uh, we'll, we'll see. I'll have to test it out a little bit more before I really decide if I, if I need the three there. And then finally... Um, there's the option card. So I play two needle spray, one hidden potential discovered. Not much to say about this. Basically makes your, your digivolves free. You can make a chaos mon free with this. Um, but you have to, uh, which is good because he unsuspends. So when digivolving, so it doesn't matter. Like, so yeah, if, uh, if you, if you have to go into him with something that you couldn't, you couldn't attack with unsuspends and he gets his ability anyways, and it basically makes it free. And then Needle Spray, just great. It, it suspends one of your opponent's Digimon for two, which is really great because it gets you some of your abilities there. Um, as well as if it's topped off security, it activates its effect and then adds it to your hand, which is really, really nice. Um, so yeah, and that's that's the deck. Um, I really, really like the Grand Kawagamon. That's why I decided to go with that whole OTK style with a little bit of control built in rather than go like Hercules Cavoterimon, Nidhogmon. Um, I thought that was really fun and I wanted to try it out a little bit more. Um, so tell me what you think of the deck uh, and any suggestions that you would do in place would be great. Um, looks like that's all the time we have for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed today's content, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of the fun. That's all for now, folks.